Well, there's a couple of problems. I mean, the, the initial plan uh, was always a problem. That's why I wrote that piece. It's the fallacy of these endless war arguments, right? This, th- this notion that that somehow this outcome is better than keeping a small residual force there. And, and I think what's happened over time is, is we haven't been able to distinguish between nation building, which I think we're all against, especially in a place like Afghanistan. Hundreds of thousands of troops spending a lot of money trying to build a democracy in this fruitless effort. I, that, I understand that frustration, but there's a lot of difference between that and a residual security force that denies a terrorist safe haven. And, 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 and you always have to look at the costs of leaving versus the costs of staying. And the costs of staying were actually quite low. I don't think a lot of people realize that. We hadn't had a combat casualty in 18 months with a very small contingent. I think Donald Trump actually found the right balance of this war as, as, as we've made mistake after mistake trying to figure out exactly what we should do over the last 20 years. And, and I've heard a lot of people say, well, you know, 19 years ago, we should have just gone in, killed a bunch of people and then left. Well, well but well, then what's your strategy exactly? Revenge? Just just revenge, because I mean, I would think another strategy would be preventing another 9-11. And that's exactly what we did for the last 20 years. It's not a great option. It's not an option I like, but it's better than other options. And that's that's how you actually have to look at the real world. But then there's the question of how they did this. And that's really what we need to be talking about now. How Biden did this is is, is so utterly incompetent. And, uh, you know, I, my, my office has been in touch with uh, sources who are very close to the operation. And this is a State Department led operation. OK, State Department overruled DOD when DOD wanted to make Bagram the last place where we would have troops. The State Department overruled them. It was a foolish mistake because Bagram can hold a lot more aircraft, for instance, than Kabul Airport. Why would they State do that? State Department wasn't even the optics. Their, their, their explanation was optics. They didn't like how that would look. They didn't like how it would look to to abandon Kabul before Bagram, I guess. And here's another thing State Department never did. They never even built a contingency plan to take people out of the embassy. They were planning on just staying, even even though the conditions on the ground were getting worse and worse and worse. Capital city after capital city were falling. By Saturday, they had no plans to leave. You know, this is this is what we're hearing from insiders. The secretary of state owes the American people a lot of explanations for this. And now, of course, the buck stops with Biden. But Biden made all these decisions and it's and it's absolutely reprehensible. But the State Department really botched this.